can walk with me. <laughs> I feel very awkward right now. <laughs> Okay, uh, I did like the art direction for Sunda Festival. Um, so all the signages, all the posters, um, you see small details, uh, small elements of like my illustration, my work, all around the festival. I don't really like to draw humans. Yeah. Do you guys know what pochong is? It's like this hantu. <laughs> there's there's a there's a few around there. There's one there. Uh, this is what we call four one six. So our own like punk collective space. Yeah, it's just a space where we like jam or do whatever we want. Some of the touring bands that came here like they like did a few doodles. Um, those pictures there are from like overseas. I think they're from KL. Yeah, there's a few lah. Yeah, that's my artwork up there. Yeah. Um, I think one of my like bigger projects is this Charlie Lin vinyl. Yeah, so I did the art direction for it. So Lee Chang Ming did like the photography. Yeah. It's like one of my bigger projects because like it kinda elevated my career afterwards. So funny story about me and Charlie Lim is that he was working at Badwagon for a bit and he was the one who I heard me. And then <laughs> I didn't know who the hell he was. And then one day he just told me like, hey you should come to my show. And I was so impressed by it and I bought his like album on iTunes afterwards. I think from young, I just wanted to work within like music industry. The typography that they use, I was very interested in that. And I would just like look at all the logos, even though I don't even understand like any of them, like the names. I think from then on, I decided I can contribute in a more image branding kind of way. The band logos, yeah, yeah. I think a lot of the metal bands like use like, you know, the very uh, interesting like I don't know how to describe it. Black metal like font. This was like my first band logo. And then this was my first ever like commissioned art. It, initially it was for like friends la, for free actually at the start. La. But I don't even know how to use uh, Photoshop. <laughs> like I, I really don't know much about design la, but I just really like aesthetically pleasing things, you know. The first one that actually really got traction was probably this first poster. Yeah, so it was like the first um, first punk show actually after COVID. There were like almost 200 people at a really small space. Yeah, I guess I've been trying to experiment and like solidify my own style. This flyer. It was for a Sarawak band. And then I used like Sarawak patterns. No, no, I, actually I like to, I like Southeast Asian products. Like, you know, like they are like boxes. So this one, right? I followed the centipede uh, medicine. Yeah, I, I really like like the graphic design on the boxes. It's crazy, especially like the old ones. This doesn't make sense at all if I show you, if I show you right now. But believe me, this will be translated nicely on like digitally. It doesn't make sense, but this is how my brain works. Okay, how do I keep myself creative is I can show you like uh things that I would read. So yeah, UK ray flyers. I will have all these things as like inspiration, like the old school gradient collage kind of thing and then this as well it's logos from like uh, record labels around asia so yeah it's just so interesting you know yeah okay. i guess when i was younger i always drew like anime like pokemon digimon yeah since like primary one and two or like sp even spongebob yeah. Oh, I can show you the CD that inspired me. 
to become the person that I am today. Kanye West. So when I was like what, 15, I went to that CD shop and then I bought this album. I, I love Kanye West and when I saw the cover art, immediately like I knew I wanted to be like a art director. There is definitely low points. I mean like burning out is one of them and I burn out like quite a few times in my career and I think you only realize it after when like all the work is done and you just like your brain is just dead. <laughs> you don't want to do anything else. So that's when I know I that I've burnt out, yeah. Uh gonna take like a mental health break. Yeah, hopefully like once I, I, I'm done with my break I can come back like, you know fulfilled and like ready to do more projects and have more creative juice in my head again <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah eventual plan like people say a side talk or chit talk i don't know but yeah basically like sit talk means uh change is the only constant I guess like to be more known in the punk and metal community for my artwork. Like for more overseas bands to use my artwork for like shirts or like records. I feel like just as a side hustle, or not even a side hustle, like, just as a side thing. Still quite fulfilling. Like. It's quite nice to see like random people like on the street like see, oh that's my artwork. But like, I mean I, I don't see to them, like, I don't tell them, oh it's my artwork. Like. 